good morning everybody welcome back to another video um today is day two so i'm actually like a day behind what i need to do so maybe saturday i'll post two videos to push myself back to where i needed to be hold on hello all right later so anyway uh today i'm going to the gym I'm going to pick my little brother up from New Orleans. Um, I need to edit yesterday's video, which would be today's video. So Wednesday's video is actually the video that you're seeing yesterday because this is Friday's video. It's a weird paradox of things happening. I need to get my car washed, but I don't feel like doing it by hand, so I might just go to a car wash to do it. Uh, and it's kind of cold outside. But my car is super dirty. But I but I have to go to New I might have to go to New Orleans to pick up my little brother. And I know he's told me yesterday he wanted to try the little boba tea stuff. So we're gonna try that. I've been wanting to try it for a while, but I have never had anybody I know that likes it or that even knows anything about it. So, um and I'm pretty picky about what I drink. So we'll it should be pretty interesting. But I've seen it everybody loves it, so Hopefully it's very good. But yeah, I'm about to get ready and then go to the gym. So let's get to it. So how have, uh, how have you guys been? It's been a while. I haven't got to talk to you guys in a good minute. I'm actually going to come up after the gym. So I'm going home, take a shower, go pick my brother up, go get something to drink and eat and stuff like that. And then car wash. Now somehow I have to edit tomorrow's video so I don't know when I'm gonna do that, or yesterday's video. It's all a big jumbled mess. Uh, it's a pretty long video because I was talking about the actual ND filter that I'm using uh, on this lens right now. So I kind of did a tutorial video yesterday. So it, if you watched it, then you know that it was long. I don't know why I'm telling you that it was long. It was, it was yesterday. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the life. I'm a huge, uh, I'm a person that likes to plan things and be very on time and on schedule. So it's very difficult for me to do things and them not be on a plan or on a schedule. It's very tough, but we're rolling with it. This bottle of water is getting on my nerves. All right, I just got to the gym. Uh, I'm actually doing legs today, so my legs are going to be burning so I, uh, I will pick you guys back up when I get done when I'm back <sighs> so I just got back from doing legs uh, I did squats leg press whatever the things are where you put your legs in it and make it go down and then where you put it and put your legs go up, whatever those things are called I don't know what the machines are called I did both of those and then I ran for two and a half miles uh, so wasn't too too crazy I kind of just I did more of reps than I did like maxing out so I did like 15 at least 15 set like three sets of 15 for everything so it's I put like a little bit not my max weight obviously but I put like a weight that was going to be sufficient on there and just did a lot of reps so uh I didn't want to push myself too hard because I don't know what I'm going to be doing the next couple days. So, and I don't really have anybody there to go with me. So I'm not going to max myself out because that's just stupid for me to hurt myself for no reason. All right. So I found out I have to go get my brother from New Orleans. So I'm about to go home, shower, go get him boba, car wash, edit video, then 
edit this video and then upload them. So yeah, so let's head home now. I think one of the worst parts about having glasses is having to freaking clean them all the time. Golly, so annoying. So I haven't had one of these in a while. I've missed them. So I'm gonna crack one open for you guys. Wow. It's like addictingly good. I'm off to get my brother from New Orleans. And then we're going to get tea. That sounded very fancy, but it's just boba. But I, I think it's called boba tea. It smells like right. pollution. Oh, look, I still got the cool little pokey straw. Okay, so I have uh, cookies and cream with boba. But I don't know what the boba tastes like. I don't know if it's different and in, in, is it the same? I don't I, know. Well, it says like mine is uh, rain jelly. Rain jelly? Where yeah. do you see that at? <laughs> right here, kiwi pineapple plus rain jelly. I have cookies and cream smoothie. I don't, I don't have the rain jelly thing. So maybe they do taste different. Okay, so we're, we're, we're newbies at this. So I don't get the cool experience of stabbing the little plastic part like he does. He gets to like stab his. This is the thickest straw I have ever seen. Holy cow. So you can suck the boba up. You're supposed to be able to like suck it up through the straw. I have a whole Oreo in mine too. Like this, it looks and smells like an Oreo smoothie with stuff at the bottom. Like yours looks way better representation wise, but mine just kind of- Yeah, his looks like frog piss. Look at this, let me see this. Look at this, what is this? See, that looks like tea though. Like that's what I expect. Yeah. There's little particles at the bottom. Oh yeah, frog peed in that. So my uh my honest review here. I'm so nervous. Did you get a boba? I did. It came unexpectedly. It doesn't taste like anything. Oh, that was nerve-wracking. Mmm! That tastes like a jelly bean. Mine tastes like, like, almost like fruity pebbles. Almost tastes like fruit loops. Does it not smell good? These are strong. Very. Are you supposed to drink the boba first? Like at the bottom? Like is that the whole point? <laughs> <laughs> that maze you made was great. Mm. Yum. He's <laughs> <laughs> spitting it out. <laughs> the drink's okay, but... <laughs> the little balls are tough. They're like... <laughs> like, I feel like they have them soaking back there. Like, I don't think they're supposed to be that, that gummy. <laughs> I think that's the point. I thought you can they were it. like fruit. I thought it was like basically little blueberries almost. Mm -mm. Definitely not. Mine just tastes like an Oreo milkshake with some gummy bears at the bottom. I mean, mine's nine out of ten. I'd give it a ten out of ten if it didn't have the boba at the bottom. Honestly, I'm a little, I'm a little up in the air about it. I don't. It's not bad. I just don't know how I feel about it. I gotta pull my straw up so I'm not sucking up the boba. That's what I did. <laughs> yeah, I still see one about to come. <laughs> Spitting it out. <laughs> he does. He does not like the boba part. It's no. I. I. I because like like it it's so like 
the drink itself is really good. I like the drink. But then, like, the boba, they're so tough to bite into. And then the drink's been lingering in your mouth by the time you eat those. Like, I'm not very big on texture. Like, sometimes if a texture is weird, I don't like it. But this, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, ooh. like I feel like they like covered it in oil. It's so slippery on the outside, but then so tough to bite through. Yeah, it, I feel that. It's like a weird, like a gummy bear that's hard in the middle. Yeah. And you're already, you're sucking so big because this straw is so big that it just catches you all, like off guard. <laughs> you got it all the way at the <laughs> top. <laughs> the drink itself is fine. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> like the tea is good. <laughs> you got another boat. I do. Like, do they have different flavored bobas? Because if they have different flavored bobas. It's it, just a little weird. It, Especially mine. Mine's thick. Yeah. I bet it's really weird for yours. Because it's so thin that you just like. You're just drinking and then all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and now it looks stupid when I drink out of it. Because the straw got to be all the way up here. <laughs> I mean, representation, still not good. Because it literally, you can either say it looks like beer or it looks like pee. Which either one probably doesn't taste very well. Tastes very good. Like, I don't know what the boba's for, to be honest with you. I think that's what's throwing me off. There's a plane going right above our head right now. I'm so disappointed. I like, mean, there's different boba places. So maybe it's like, maybe it's just kind of this one that tastes weird, but. But like, there, this is the only boba place I've ever seen. I got some in Baton Rouge. But 9 out of 10 for mine. His is like a 4 out of 10. If we're not counting the boba, it's at least a 6 out of 10. Okay, like, so with boba, 4 out of 10. Without boba, 6 out of 10. Yeah. Honestly, if mine didn't have boba in it, it'd probably be a 10 out of 10. Only reason it'd only be a 6 out of 10 without boba is because it's not even the taste. The taste, it doesn't have a taste almost. It's like an aftertaste is the only taste. So it's like... That's the thing. So the, the weird part about the boba is you're drinking it, and when you expect to stop drinking, there's a ball in your mouth. <laughs> and you gotta eat it. I mean, his, his was good. I didn't try his, but he said his was good. You wanna try mine? I don't know at this point. I wouldn't suck the boba up, cause mine's thick. You can. It tastes like a McFlurry. Yeah, exactly. It tastes like an Oreo McFlurry. So my overall consensus, nine out of 10, the boba is like the one part that just kind of makes it a little weird. I think if you get used to it, it's not that bad. But being it our was, first time, it was, it was horrible. I did, I, I'm so disappointed. I mean, it wasn't horrible. But if someone asked me if they should go get it, I'd probably say, I don't know. Probably, maybe. It's like... Mm. It's like 50-50. I think it's something that like you just got to try, but I don't know if I feel any different, the fact that I did try it. So, as you saw, uh, I just got home. Nine out of ten. I even told the Boba people they messaged me. I told them nine out of ten. Uh, I did not get my car washed. I'm gonna do it tomorrow. I have to build a deck. Deck, um, like a platform, basically for my grandpa's chair. Um, he just had surgery so he like needs the chair to be higher off the ground so I'm building like a platform it's like two by six anyway y'all see you tomorrow um, but yeah I 
had a somewhat eventful day and I really only did a few things. It just kind of took me a long time to do all of them. So I do appreciate it if you watched all the way to the end of the video. Um, it's going to be kind of shorter like this form of stuff because it's kind of hard to fit a lot of stuff in one day I'm trying to spread it all out. Um, I did line out some pictures of taking, taking pictures, people taking pictures, whatever. I did line out some pictures I'm going to be taking soon. So hopefully that will be, uh, I'll be, I'll find a way to kind of capture like a behind the scenes of it. I might get one of my like photographer friends to maybe video like a behind the scenes or something like that. But yeah, I appreciate it. If you watch all the way to the end of the video, make sure you are liking the video. I don't know if the dislike thing is counter is still there, but don't dislike it. Just like it. <laughs> and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified every time that I upload a video. That's it for this one. Peace out. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.